Hello and welcome to our message from Holborn Gospel Hall again. Um, at this time of the year we're starting to think about getting organised for Christmas and I'll just show you. We're slowly trying to get our Christmas tree and everything, decorations and everything done this afternoon. And this year is going to be a very different Christmas for everyone. I think everyone has just seen the announcement on what we're allowed to do at Christmas, how many people we're allowed to meet with, whether we can bring three households together and if it's limited to the number of eight within Scotland, uh, it's unlimited with England, but it's going to be a very different Christmas for all of us this year. And it will be challenging for people, particularly people who are on their own this Christmas. But what I want to speak about today is the fact that the true meaning of Christmas the background to Christmas, what we celebrate at Christmas has not changed. And at Christmas we would normally read some passages and I just want to read some of them together and just bring a short message to them. The first reading is in Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 33 and it's about Mary being told that she's going to have a baby. Now in the sixth month the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favoured one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the, called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Here's a young lady, Mary, and she gets given this message, and she finds it very strange, because she's never been with a man. It says that she's a virgin, and she's going to have a baby, and that was through the power of God. But it also says a number of other things. It says, do not be afraid. And at this time, a lot of us are afraid. We're concerned. But Mary is told, do not be afraid. But she's also told to call his name Jesus. She was told what to call her baby. She knew it was going to be a boy. And she was told what to call it. And in Matthew chapter 1, verses 21... An angel speaks to Joseph and says, And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. There we are. The angel has also told Joseph that his name needs to be called Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. And that's what we celebrate at Christmas, that we celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ coming to this world. And the reason that he came was to save his people from their sins. Now, more of the story of Jesus in Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 18. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This census took, first took place while Quirinius was governing Syria. So all went to be registered, everyone to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. Joseph and Mary had to go back to Joseph's place, where his family originally came home, came from. Now, some of us would like to go home to see family and everything at Christmas, and we might be restricted and do this, but they had to travel and be registered in the city where Joseph came from, the city of David, because he was of the line of David, and he had to go back to Bethlehem. So he had to leave Nazareth and head to Bethlehem. Lots of other people were doing that as well. So it was that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered, and she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swathing clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in, in the inn. It's a fil familiar thought at Christmas that there was no room for Mary and Joseph. There was no room for Jesus in the inn when they went to Bethlehem. So many people had gone home to Bethlehem to be registered that there was no room for them. Now, 
There were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Again, here we have a group of people who are very afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. As Mary was told, Do not be afraid. But they are told, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. We're looking forward to good tidings of great joy. There are some messages around a vaccine for coronavirus, and we hope that that will be helpful, and we hope that that will physically help us to be able to go back to normal. But that wasn't the purpose of what the angel was saying to the shepherd. Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born for you this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. A Saviour. What was Jesus called? He will save his people from their sins. Jesus was to be a Saviour. And there, this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, on an earth, peace. Peace, goodwill toward men. We all enjoy singing carols at Christmas. We think of some of the ones that are mentioned. They come from this, once in Royal David City, stood a lowly cattle shed. And then you have the other ones. The first Noel that the angels did say was to certain poor shepherds. And then we have the other one, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven, that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. The shepherds went and repeated what they'd been told. They were told... Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. They went out and told all the people about what happened. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. They were told to go and tell everyone that the Saviour, the Messiah that had been looked for, had been born and that where people were to come. And that's what we do every week when we send these messages out. We're telling you about the Lord Jesus Christ. We're telling you about the one that we celebrate at Christmas, but we celebrate every week that he came into this world as a saviour for us and that through him we can have our sins forgiven. Without putting our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we can't be redeemed. We can't come back to God. But Jesus was sent at Christmas to come into this world to die on a cross for us. He didn't live long. He lived something like 33 years and eventually he was put to death for us. But he came into this world a saviour for all people. And we would reach out and tell all people through this message that the Lord Jesus Christ loves them. That God loved them so much that he sent his only son to die for them. And that's what we celebrate at Christmas. So we're sorry that it's going to be a very different Christmas. There are many of us struggling with the rules and struggling with the thought of not meeting up with our family or being challenged with the number of people that we can meet with. But the real meaning of Christmas, the purpose behind our celebration, the fact that the Lord Jesus Christ came in as the saviour of the world has not changed. And we hope that you will be blessed by this message. Thank you.